Hey survivors and welcome back on the Sons of the Forest channel! A few days ago we got the IGN preview of the Forest sequel that revealed many new interesting details about in-game mechanics. For example, Calvin, which is absolutely the most outstanding reveal of this video. But since we got a new gameplay footage, I went deep down to check what they shared, so here are 5 things you may have missed from the iGem preview of Sons of the Forest. IGN showed a lot of new sequences set in caves. We got a new look at babies and creepies and a taste of the new incredible lighting effects. But maybe the darkness of the underground reveals something new about Sons of the Forest. In its very first sequence, IGN preview shows what looks like a mineral on the cave walls. At the beginning, it could be considered an optional design for rocks, but it looks way different than the standard cave surface. The way it reacts to the light makes it even brighter than normal rocks. It could be a mineral we can mine, and that means a mining mechanic has been added to the game. It is also suggested by the shovel that we already saw in action in the second trailer, and it could be used to both dig and mine. Even though we already got a taste of the dismemberment mechanic in the previous trailers, now we got the sequence of a complete execution. We previously saw cannibals without arms asking for mercy and getting out by their comrades, but this time, this time we see the player actually cutting an arm off the body of the still alive cannibal. The arm literally flies away and the inhabitant immediately touches his shoulder for the suffering. Even though the sleeve of his sweater moves like possessed by the severed arm, it actually isn't there. But before the cannibal can even beg for mercy, we instantly kill him off. Did you see it? The camera moves slightly away to finish the cannibal, like a cinematic scene has started. It could be a finisher, an animated execution just one or two seconds long. If this turns out to be true, well, I will be even more hyped than what I am now. In a very short sequence, we can see a deer next to the player staying still, sitting down on the ground. Even though two players are walking next to him, the deer doesn't attempt to run away, neither react to their presence, but instead just continue with his relaxing journey. This little detail could be a big new mechanic for Sons of the Forest. Since we know AI has been improved for the Forest sequel, we have been fully focused on enemies and new mutants, how they react to the player and how they relate to each other. But, but are we so sure that the AI improvement has been limited to enemies and Kelvin? More likely, also animals now have a brain and react in different ways based on the situation. We saw a herd of deers run away altogether once the player approached it, and now a deer is actually doing nothing in front of him. Maybe it's just waiting for a good death after a deadly dart. But hey, we can't know. Also, there are a bunch of new flowers and edible plants appearing during the world preview, for example, blueberries and pine cones on the ground. Also, in one of the new images shared by iGen on their website, there are a bunch of new berries like uh, raspberries and strawberries. There are also some energy and healthing mixes, like those in the forest, and also a brand new look at the grappling hook. We didn't even know there was something like that in the game. Also, the weapons are confirmed to be customizable, as the taser gun is no longer yellow painted, but white. Still in those images shared by IGN, we have a picture set in the case with some saliva-like things and slimy bumps on the cave walls. As Endonator revealed in my personal interview that there will be mutants' nests in the underground, we can assume IGN gave us a first look at one of them. It looks creepy and extremely terrifying, I can't wait to leave it on my own. Well guys, that's everything for today, uh, I didn't want to repeat what I've said because I think it was a very good video, so if you missed it, uh, please go check it out because there will be a lot of things without spawning anything. I'm happy with what you've seen, I'm extremely excited for the new Calvin mechanic, Calvin that is now, uh, that is now the ideal lover for all the forest fans. <laughs> There are just 39 days left to Sons of the Forest, we're so close. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing, follow me on all the social media, especially on our Reddit community and Discord server on Instagram and Facebook, and always remember to survive the forest.